Buenos dias, Gunners Collective TV. Back at it? You already know. Like a motherfucking trap addict. Bye, 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 bye. And in my noodle style and direct fashion, we're going to get straight into the content of the day. But before we do, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding. Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directing the direction of the dope content I'm kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel and it's all because of you. And for that, I can say I'm very humbled and very much so appreciated. My eye itches. Maybe I'm getting some money. Probably not. Right? So, <clears throat> fucking Adam, right? At this point, it has to be trolling. It has to be something. Adam is not a dumb person. He's not a dumb individual, right? Um, he knows when he's playing with fire and uh, he knows when he isn't. You know, uh, living in the, LA, in the LA area, living in them streets, he should understand, you know, who runs rut and what runs who, right? And there's, we don't even have to elaborate or detail that. You know, he understands that when you're playing with Mexicanos, uh, Mexican gang members, Chicano gang members, man, you're playing with fire, right? Absolutely. Especially in Southern California, because um, it gets real tricky down there. It gets real tricky. Now, every different barrio does their own thing. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you know, Adam <clears throat> should be of the understanding that there's things that you fuck with and things that you don't. Now, Lefty Gunplay um, is feeling some type of way. And does he have every right to feel that way? Absolutely. Absolutely, man. When you feel that somebody is coming in your backyard, someone who you're at odds with or you're at guerra with, and um, you feel that they're disrespecting you, um, then you can say what you feel like saying, right? Should he say too much? Absolutely not. You got to play chess and not checkers, right? I don't think lefty should be saying too much concerning the Norteños that are coming in no jumper because if you're really feeling some type of way and, and you feel like pressing or you want to do something, you never alert the enemy to the tactics or what you got going on behind the scenes. You never throw it out there because Vatos are not intimidated. You know, individuals will take it for a grain of salt. You know, if you're, if you're saying, hey, Holmes, you know, I don't like the fact that these Valtos are coming to no jumper, these northerners, and uh, basically, you know, doing these podcasts or whatever it may be. Um, then you keep that to the chest and you proceed with caution and do what you do. You know, I think that's the only fault right here for Lefty is that he's voicing his opinion um, to those that don't need to to know. Right. Um, if, if he's really feeling some type of way, then he should just handle his business and do what he does. Now, he did the interview the other day and he said that. He was upset. He was upset with Adam. He was upset with the No Jumper podcast in general for um, allowing Norteños to go to L.A. and to basically, you know, um, speak their mind. Now, when it first happened with Lazy Boy, people were upset. People were upset. And Adam pushed that envelope. He was like, hey, I'm bringing Norteños down here. Um, and albeit it's good business for him. You know, he's at the end of the day, he's a white man. Um, he's a businessman. It's his business. And whoever he wants to interview, he can interview whoever, you know, whoever he chooses to. Now, of course, again, along them lines, I've always said that with Adam, you have to watch out for the crazy ass questions, the stir in the pot questions that he asks. Because I don't want to see anybody that goes on that podcast get caught up behind some bullshit or behind saying too much. So you just got to be prepared for the tricky tactics that Adam uses. And again, there's going to be people that argue, well, he's a journalist. He asks the hard questions. Um, when you're, <clears throat> when you're interviewing people that are in the gang lifestyle or people that are really living active like that, you know, you should have some type of integrity about yourself and some professionalism and enough understanding to understand you're dealing with real life shit. You're dealing with motherfuckers getting their heads taken off, right? So if you want to play gang, if you want to play, um, gang interviewer or gang interventionalist or whatever you want to play, um, play at your own risk, man. You know, play at your own risk like that old school song because it's very serious. It's very real, especially when it comes to North and South. No, I know Adam's been getting it, getting away with it for a long time in the black community, stirring the pot. And the brothers are feeling some type of way too. You know, there's brothers that don't condone Adam's get down, you know, people like AD and, and, you know, back on fig and these, uh, these certain podcasts that have recognized and realized exactly what Adam does, man, for The View, which is get you all out of your comfort zone. Now, ultimately, it's up to the guests to answer the questions. They don't have to. You know, you make that choice. 
Um, but even providing that platform and, and delving into gang situations or street situations, man, that could get very tricky. So when he interviewed Lazy, you know, that started, that kicked something off. That basically was um, the start of the shoe war, right? Because what he did um, was alert the Southerners, the Southern uh, Raza that, you know, he was going to be having Northerners at his podcast. And uh, regardless of their feelings or how they felt, you know, that's just the way it was. And again, like I said, it, it is his business. He could do what he wants to do at the end of the day, but he's got to do it with respect. He's got to have respect, okay? Um, he then interviewed Bands. Um, it went a little sideways with some of the comments as well. Um, I thought Bands uh, had a great interview, but, you know, um, he wasn't playing this shit because Adam kept asking about Lefty Gunplay and other rappers and trying to get a soundbite and trying to stir up controversy. He knows exactly what the fuck he's doing at this point. Okay, he's going to keep that shit lit because drama and controversy equals views. So at the end of the day, the more people that tune in um, for these, what they're considered controversial figures, the Northerners, even though that's not the case, they're just trying to do their thing, man. Um, they're just trying to, you know, be on podcasts and make some money just like anyone else. You can't knock them. You can't hate on them for that, right? But there are individuals that feel some type of way. They're absolutely feeling some type of way. And one of those individuals is Lefty Gunplay, right? And I can understand why he is. Again, again, like I said, he feels like No Jumper is part of the fabric of the Southern area, the Southern side, not the other side. He feels like because the podcast is in Southern California, um, that is a Southern thing, right? And because when he tried to extend his hand to do some uh, collaborations or some work with Northerner ciphers and things like that, he was shut down. Northerners weren't having it. They didn't like it, right? Um, so that... Definitely um, angered Lefty. And I could see it. I could see why. You know, basically like, hey, if you bought those ain't giving me no action up there, why the fuck should you have action down here? Is how he's feeling, man, in so many words, right? So he basically, and this has happened numerous times, man, a couple times, because it's out there on social media. Again, you got to put your shit in the cuts and play it behind the scenes rather than out there for everyone to know the get down because law enforcement and people of that nature are watching and waiting, right? Um, and I think Adam knows that. And I think, you know, Adam's whole get down is to stir that pot up to that point, um, just for something to happen. So that way he can say, see, I told you so. Like, nah, 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 we told you so, but also, you know, we try to help you out. Um, but Trip, so Lefty, uh, he basically is upset with Adam and he's saying, you know what, Adam, um, he ain't having it. You know, he'll pull up what a hundred sold dollars to make some shit happen. Um, he's feeling some type of way about Norteños being allowed to go to LA um, and what he considers kind of set up shop and do these interviews. Now, it's not that serious. It's not that serious. It's not like these Valtas are going disrespecting. Now, there has been a couple men that double back, went back, made a song about it and basically, you know, did that. That's going to happen. That's gang banging. You know, uh, uh, the thing that's done nowadays is bumping baker soda breath on the door. A lot of cell soldiering, right? There's going to be a lot of individuals, and you can't speak for everyone because um, everyone has their own their own get down, right? But um, there's always going to be those individuals, man, that show up, pop up, do their thing, then later on talk about it, right? The real righteous ones are the ones that have nothing to say about it. They go conduct their business in a professional fashion and form, and then get on down the road, man. They did what they they did what they had to do. Now, is it making Lefty look bad? Um, Adam is. He is in some type of way because, you know, Lefty continues to throw out there, you know, hey, I ain't fucking with these dudes. I ain't trying to have these dudes down south. I'm the face of L.A., this, this, and that. I could snap my fingers and a hundred motherfuckers could be at the front door. It's that serious with his. He does not like the Norteño cause, man, for whatever reason. And that's his prerogative. He could do what he wants to do like a Bobby Brown song. But at the same time, when Adam continues to bring Norteños on his platform, that's stirring the pot. That's basically a slap in Lefty's face saying, hey, Lefty, um, fuck what you're talking about, right? Now, I'm not here to disrespect uh, uh, Lefty because I believe that Lefty um, has reasoning behind what he does, right? And he has every right. You know, when you're getting disrespected in music, um, you have every right to feel how you feel. Now, again, I just seen um, a concert that Lefty did and on stage he was disrespecting Rico Too Smooth and, and Lazy Boy and the Norteño movement as a whole, right? And I can say this, you need to stop, bro. Um, the more that you acknowledge other individuals, the more that you're out there 
putting their names out there, you're only making them more popular. You're popular popularizing them. Um, the best thing to do is let the shit go and handle your business or don't. That's real talk. That's not disrespect. That's not trying to clown. That's just a perspective that I'm seeing and that I'm putting out there. That's what real ones did back in the days and they should continue to do now. That's the klecha that you need, man, to understand that if you're going to handle your business, handle it. Don't just talk about it because uh, it just makes you look worse when people like Adam um, disregard what you say. They take it with a grain of salt like you're a flea to a tic-tac, right? They ain't tripping. Now, at this point, it has to be trolling. And Adam knows exactly what he's doing because I seen yesterday, um, he brought Big Tone. And I'm going to do a spill on that man and how I actually feel about Big Tone pulling up. But he brought Big Tone, who's a certified soldado from Northern California. Um, one of the Northern rappers that I appreciate the most because of his calm, cool demeanor, his get down. He's from the same era as me. We move differently. He moves differently. Um, nothing but respect, man. I watch him on TikTok and Instagram, his quotes of the day. He's always giving good game and education. And he, even though he's down and, and still activated allegedly in what he does, he's always giving game to the youngsters to uplift in a positive fashion and manner. I mean, I thought if you're going to do an interview, you, you kick it off with Big Tone right from the gate. He should have been the first one up there, not Lazy Boy, because Lazy Boy is young and not as well known as Tone, who's seasoned in the game, who has a lot of paprika to his step, right? So, but I understand the way Tone thinks, because he thinks the way I would think. And the way I would think is let the little youngster kick it off, open up the doors, let's see what it's all about. Let's see if it's a righteous podcast, let's see uh, what, the, what, what they're kicking over there, right, before he gets in the mix. Hey, and that's utilizing the dummy role. Right? Go ahead, homie. You go and do that. We'll see what's happening after, right? He did that. He did that, man. I can't be mad at him. Um, now, I noticed that him and AWACS, man, have their own podcast, and it's popping. I watch it all the time. I appreciate the context of their content and the people that they're bringing on. So I could see him going on a podcast like with no, like no Jumper, and it benefits him. Him starting to step his toes into the, in the waters of social media, um, that's what you're supposed to do. Put your name out there. Put your podcast out there. Get it to bubbling and popping. And hopefully, man, it could explode and it could work for him, right? Um, I could see the reasoning behind him doing it. And I already know with Big Toe, man, he has a lot of uh, a lot of clutch, a lot of education. He knows what time it is, what to say, what not to say. But that doesn't stop the fact that Lefty Gunplay is going to feel some type of way. I've seen a lot of comments. People are like, damn, that's a slap in Lefty's face. Damn, Lefty's probably punching the air right now. I don't think so. I don't think so, man. I think Lefty's upset that he feels that Adam is, is playing him out of pocket or choosing sides. Um, and Adam ain't tripping. You know, I seen last night, Adam, uh, he actually uh, did a thing on Instagram, I think it was TikTok, where he told Lefty, why don't you pop back up? Pop back up and we could talk about it and discuss your feelings or how you're feeling, right? Now, I take that like this. And this is true game, Left. I know you're watching, right? Because um, you said you do, right? Um that man <laughs> is playing everyone. He's playing the Mexicanos out of pocket, bro. He's playing them against each other. You got to turn it on him, is it? Right? And the way to turn it on him is you don't need to go on his platform to express how you feel about the situation. You've already put it out there. Everybody knows. He intends to flip you and twist you to double back to, excuse me, my ear is you, man. That means more to me than fucking no jumper. Everybody, right? So anyways, he wants you to go on there so that way he can uh, twist your mentality, your mentality. Somehow bullshit you and tell you, no, no, I, I backed you up, man. I talk good about you. When it's plain as day, he did it, right? Now, I'm not here to fucking set Adam up and to hurt, get Adam hurt or none of that. He's doing that himself. He's a grown man. He knows how to get down, right? The thing is this, you know, when the raza continues to get played out of pocket, continues to uh, uh, get their pot stirred, we already have enough drama with Mexicanos and Chicanos in the state of California um, amongst each other than to let one guy um, be the catalyst of some bullshit. You know, up until the point of Lazy Boy actually going to No Jumper, you know, which I don't think is a big deal. What's the fucking big deal with Norteños going um, to the No Jumper podcast? They're human just like everyone else, man. They rap just like everyone else. The get down is just like everyone else. I know there's people that want to deny it. And think that there's some aliens from the planet Mars or something. But let me tell you, Norteños put their Jordans on the exact same way, right? Um, they've been doing it for a very long time. They're going to continue to do it. The shit is never going to stop, right? 
And just because a podcast is based in the Los Angeles area or in Southern California doesn't mean that they shouldn't show love, you know, to the Norteños. I mean, I've seen the full community doing interviews uh, with these Northerners, with GB, with these guys, and they weren't getting as much hate as Adam is getting, right? Or as much, you know, uh, what was the difference? What's the difference? You know, um, do I believe that, uh, uh, you know, the Norteños should go down there and do more interviews with, say, uh, Latinos or, or people that they could check in with or that they're cool with, man, um, and they can make something happen and some type of collaboration? Yeah, of course. But let's just be blunt and let's just be real. No Jumper podcast is the biggest on the West Coast when it comes to um, podcasts. Hate it or love it. It just is what it is. Now, I have my own ways of thinking when it comes to Adam, and we're going to get into the second spill of the day later on where I talk about Big Tone pulling up to No Jumper, right? Oh, I, I definitely got a lot to say about that um, and how I feel about that situation. But quietly as it's kept, at the end of the day, you know, <clears throat> Lefty's going to feel how he feels, and we're going to see how he proceeds. I'm just saying that's to proceed with caution because everybody is watching now. Now the ball's in Lefty's court. Hey, it's your, it's your turn, bro. It's your turn on the handball court, right? Everybody wants to see if you're going to ace it. If you're going to pop the ball or if you're going to fucking hit it out of bounds, right? When it comes to lefty, um, I did a, I did a video on him the other day where I expressed my sincere apologies for him feeling played out of pocket by some of the things I was saying when I only want to see him prosper. Now, here's another, here's another part to that, right? In order to prosper in the game, bro, you need to let shit go. You have to be the bigger man, even though it might look funny to some, fuck what they're talking about, bro. It's all about you and yours, taking care of you, your family, and those around you, your tight circle, man. Um, but you also can't be on stage disrespecting and constantly uh, 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 doing that back and forth because then there's going to be situations like this that put you on the spot where you say something and now it's ticking out of context and now people are expecting you to pull up and do something. Do I want him to pull up with 100 motherfuckers and cause chaos? Absolutely not. Because it's not good for anybody, right? Is Adam constantly stirring this shit up and trolling Lefty at this point? Absolutely. And he's doing it for views. And for those of you that don't see it, you're blinder than Ray Charles was, right? Because, you know, he played the black community out of pocket for a very long time. I mean, there's people in Chicago talking about, man, uh, uh, they can't even come to some type of fucking uh, understanding or love. Because every time something happens down there, Adam jumps on that shit quick. And it's quick to stir the pot, right? And that causes chaos. Everybody's watching. That's what you need to understand with social media. Everybody is watching, right? And everybody has an opinion. They might not put it in the motherfucking, uh, uh, in the comments, but they feel a certain type of way. You know, Lefty has the platform and has, and goes on all these different platforms and can express his opinion. But sometimes opinions need to be kept to themselves because it just causes more chaos and gets more of those eyes that you don't want looking at you, looking at you. L a law enforcement's already alerted. You know, if you think a homes, you know, you dictate and control that man's business. That's not what's never going to happen. Okay, Lefty, you cannot control Adam 22 and Adam and you can't give Adam 22 the power over you to control you. See, at this point, he's controlling. He's a very controlling person. He controls his wife's life. He controls, you know, who comes in and out of that building. He controls and stirs up all the controversy, man. He allows people like on bro, whack 100 to talk his shit. He allows Brick Baby to talk his shit. He allows Compa Raider to come in and out of there, man, and cat out, you know. He does these things, man. You know, people ain't even pointing at the fact that he had Compa Raider on there and he's asking him all kinds of crazy questions. He even tested his manhood and his ability to, you know, uh, to, to be a man. Asked him basically if he was gay. Um, some crazy shit, right? Do you understand? He does not fear the guys he brings on there. There's a reason for that, okay? And it's not that um, he has the backing of some big group or organization. Oh, he has the backing of somebody, all right, but it's not who you guys think it is. Okay, when a person is that nonchalant and a person is that unfearing of the next man, especially gang members, there's a fucking reason. Open your eyes, right? And I'll just leave it at that um, without saying too much. I'm just saying, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's becoming trolling at this point. And again, like I said, uh, for lefty gunplay, he's allowing Adam to control his program. Hey, why don't you come on here, Left, so we can talk about it? No, Adam, why don't you pick up the fucking phone like a man behind the scenes and call the Vato and talk about it? Not everything has to be on camera. I understand at the end of the day, Adam wants to win. And how is he going to convince Lefty, hey, it's good for you to double back on your words and what you said, bro? No, it's not good for you, Esse. It's not good for you. It's going to make you look worse than you already look, bro. 
It's good for him. It's good for him, right? I'm not trying to step on that man's bag or even get involved in his pockets, but I'm just saying, coming from a gang standpoint and a street standpoint, man, it's not good for you, bro. You know, and coming from uh, and speaking to Adam, he knows how to pick up a phone and get a hold of people. He should just call him and be like, look, bro, this is what it is. I'm trying to do this to make money. It has nothing to do with disrespecting the school or disrespecting Southern California whatsoever, homie. It's just about the bag in my business, right? And then him and Lefty can discuss it rather than, why don't you come to the podcast and we can talk it out. Hey, homie, his name is not Swifty Blue, nor is his name Compa Raider. He's not going to go on there and hug it out, right? Who makes Adam the fucking one where everyone goes on there? All the shit stems from his channel and all the bullshit and the beef, and then they all come back to hug it out on there. Come on now, man. Stop it. With that being said, you know, I'm just speaking the real, um, is he trolling? Is Lefty fucking feeling some type of way? Yeah. And the focus should have be on the Northennials pulling up, bro. Because, look, you, you, you're not going to catch up to them. It's not like they're right there live. All this shit is pre-recorded. All these things are pre-recorded unless Adam goes live, right? And Adam knows better not to do that. And the Northenders know better than to put themselves in that type of situation. Who would? It's not being a punk. It's not being scary, man. It's playing your position to the fucking correct T, right? Who would pull up lacking, man? Because there's always going to be individuals waiting on that spot, waiting on that shine, feeling like, hey, bro, if I go over there and I clap a Northerner or something, I'm going to go do time and everyone's going to, I'm going to be that man. No, you're not. You're not going to be that man. You're going to be that man next in the canteen line after the homeboy that's been there for a long time because he paid his five bolas to fucking get his cantina first. That's all you're going to be. Real talk. You don't get no extra credit, no extra brownie points, a certificate that says I killed a northerner and that's why I'm here. None of that. They're going to be like, hey, what are you in here for, Holmes? A murder. Who'd you kill? Some northerner on the No Jumper podcast. Was that right? Orale. That's it. Hey, Holmes, did you bring anything? You got me? You got me? That's it. Same thing goes for the North. You kill a, a Southern. I've been locked up with homeboys that smack Southerners. Okay, I've been locked up with it. Straight up, real life. What you in here for, homeboy? You know what I mean? Yeah, I killed one of them vocals, one of them thangs, Holmes, one of them other vocals from the other side. Oh, is that right? That's right. All right now. Hey, Holmes, hey, uh, are you going to walking horse or union supply? That's it. Anyways, with that being said, off the you move with a purpose. Again, let me tell uh, Lefty Gunplay one, one other thing, man. Respect yourself enough. To understand, bro, and, and, and I don't know who laced you up, and I respect your homies and, and what you got going on, but uh, you know what I mean? Don't, 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 don't let, never let motherfuckers know what it is. Exactly. As far as the Northaniels pulling up to no jumper, continue to do your thing, man. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Shit, I'm happy to see the homie shine. It just is what it is. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's gonna be the head that wears the crown. I'm gonna continue to strive, struggle, struggle, strive for what I honestly and truly believe in, and that's real talk. Putting it out there, no added preservatives. People hate me because they hate me, but they also hate me because I keep it real, man. Am I supposed to keep it real fake? Am I supposed to give you what you want to hear or what you need to hear, man? That's totally up to you, man. Take it for a grain of salt or take it for what it is, and that's realness. I will be doing another video on this channel later on, man. Make sure you tune into it. Collective stays popping, man. Ooh, I got an incident that took place. People have been asking me to speak on it. Um, it was close to the area where I live, so I kind of kept you know, in the, in the cuts on this one. Um, but I'm going to let you know what really went down. This is the gun. Bang, bang.